<laughs> Wasi, let, let me try and do one in English. People have been complaining. We see if it performs, it goes. If it does not, I'm moving back to Swahili. Awaje watu wangu waswa. Eh eh. Ni uh, people have just complained too much that they need to hear what I'm saying in English. I hope it works. Be because if it does not work, I am going back to Swahili. You guys subscribe if you are speaking English. Yeah. Anyway, the topic today is simple. The reality of a man and the reality actually of a man who has no money. My friend, if you are a man and you have a wife and you have no money, she will never respect you fully the way she would have respected you if you had money. She will never treat you wholeheartedly in greatness and in respect and in a little fear mixed with it. She will never do that if you don't have money, my friend. Without money, a man, don't be, don't be yappy yappy. Don't speak too much in meetings with other men. At the end of the day, your money speaks for you. Your opinions as a man without money are almost invalid. They are almost invalid because they are not backed up by money. It's the reality of a man in this world. If you are a man and you have a family meeting or a gathering, your presence is not valued. Actually, people around you, even your family, can even have meetings without you. I am telling you. They, they will hold great meetings and start advancing even before you. They will only update you and they will not feel any apologetic. My friend, if you are a man and you don't have money, sometimes even the sex you receive from your wife is not the best. Let me give you, let me tell you, go and experiment. For those of you who have wives, even if you have money, Today, if you have a lot of money, go, if you're in Kenya, go pull out some new $1,000 bills. Uh, in, um, pull some $1,000 bills from, from your account. New ones, new ones, like a hundred of them. A hundred thousand, not dollar bills, but shilling bills, sorry. A thousand shilling bills, not is elfu moja get about 50 of them not even 100 50 of them and then pour them on the bed today with some flowers my friend you will have better you will have a better night tonight than anything <clears throat> let me tell you one thing that is undeniable women love money don't be lied to your mother loves money. Your auntie loves money. Your sister loves money. And when you pour money in all of them, they respect you more. Your wife loves money. And it doesn't matter whether they are Christian, saved, what, what, whether they are your pastor's wife, especially pastor's wife, they love money a lot, a lot. It doesn't matter who they are and some girls who don't think some girls who some women If you are a husband and you don't have money They can easily cheat on you some women not all of them but Generally without money you as a man You're in bad shape or you're in bad shape You as a man as much as you take care of your family and maybe sometimes you share your bills and develop mental money with your wife. Make sure you have something aside. Whether your wife knows it or not, make it clear that you have something on the side. Whether she knows it or not, make sure you have your savings on the side. Because one day you could end up alone, my friend. One day you could find yourself alone. 
whether you are the best Christian or you are a marriage counselor or not, you can come and tell us this story one day that you are alone, you as a man. Women will never be alone. When the husband is gone, they will be with the children. When the children are not there, the husband is there. And it's easy for a woman to get company from other women without problem. Women are very social with each other. They take care of each other. Only as men, we don't have those social gatherings of taking care of each other. Man, you can learn and find yourself alone. So always make sure you have something you're putting on the side for yourself. A man, if you don't have money, my friend, you are setting yourself for a very painful old age. A very, very painful old age. An old age of suffering. A man with no money, even a man with money, you get some validation when you are old. But all they will follow you for or the help you will receive is because you have the money. The validation you will receive when you are very old, it's because you have money. But if you don't have money, my friend, and you are 65, 70 years old, you have nothing in your bank. Only people like me can come and console you. I will come give you $100 for your food. I will visit you in hospital because I am a wise younger man. I know what it takes. I know what to do when I see so I see such situations and I usually know what happened so I will come I usually take care of my older friends very well I visit them I talk to them I call them I do but my friend if you don't have money and you are old age you will die very frustrated you will have a painful death you will be very lonely because you are almost useless without money. My friend, my man, if you're in church, if you are a church member, and if you don't have money, and you commit some, uh, some sin like adultery, even a small one, yours, the one that is very, very, very slight sin, will be seen as abomination, will be seen as you have wronged everyone on earth. If you have money, my friend, even if you sleep with a neighbor's wife, it's easily for them to, to, to let it go and quote some Bible verse. Oh, even Solomon did this, even this did that. I'm telling you, if you don't have money as a man, even the church will never respect you. Your sins will be worse than the other persons who has money. And it's the same sin, oh. It's the same scene. My friends, if you don't have money as a man, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. My friend, if you don't have money as a man, you do not choose what you eat. Even your wife will be serving anything on the table. Pa! You complain, tells you, oh, where is the money to buy the meat you want? And you will be quiet. You will have to eat that junky food full of carbs and you end up with uh, diabetes so early in your life my man if you don't have money my friend you don't have a choice of the fashion the clothes you need to wear you will just pretend that oh i just love these clothes i just love this but you don't you are wearing whatever was available at a cheap price but you already know if you had money you will be shining and wearing what you want. My friend, if you don't have a money as a man, the reality is very harsh. Very harsh, my friends. Your opinion does not matter. Your opinion will never matter. If you don't have money, your temperament is always so... It's always so delicate because you feel you're so sensitive. You feel like people are not respecting you because you don't have money. You feel like people, even your wife, you feel like she's disrespecting you because she, you don't have money. And it's true. She will disrespect you.
But when you have money and she, if she disrespects you, most likely you won't care. You already have money. Yeah, let's go on with this money thing and men. The men thing with the money thing. Yeah. Guys, I'm not trying to impose that money is beyond purpose. But even to be able to execute your purpose, you need money. To be able to execute your purpose, you need money. You need resources. If you are a pianist, like I said in my book, you need some money to buy a piano. You need some money to go for training, for school. Guys, look around. That's a gas station. Back there is Food Lion. You know what, guys? While I was doing this, this very, this very vlog at the park, I received a text from my wife. And this text was a list of very many things to buy while on my way back home. And these many things have just costed me close to a hundred dollars. And uh, it was uh, just a, by the way, it's not the regular shopping, you know? Uh, she said, this is finished, this is finished. Tomorrow we have visitors. Yesterday I had to go get some goats, this and that. And a hundred dollars is gone. My friends, if you don't have cash flow, you are in trouble, especially if you have a wife and family. If you don't have cash flow, my friend, you will not be able to keep up. You will kill yourself, oh. you will die early. Oh. So my friends, make sure, even in the purpose you're pursuing, make sure that it is bringing in some income that will take care of you and your family. It is bringing you some income that is also taking care of you when you grow older, in your old age, man. Man, your old, look around, man. Every time I go to a household, I don't see Ruka or, or grandpa, grandpa taking care of the children there, here in America. I only see uh, old, old grandmas who have been brought here by their children to take care of their young ones. Guys, my friends, the other old men have been left back in Kenya or in Nigeria, in Lagos, and if they don't have money, my friend, they're left alone. I see so many, so many grandmas in America living a very good life with the, with the, with the grandchildren and with their children especially on the wife's side the wife will bring the mother or the, the the son will also bring the mother and the father will even come sometimes but he will not fit in a man wants to go back to his farm and he's left there alone and if you're not careful as a man you might find yourself very lonely and very broke when you are old be careful be careful men be very careful women love money and we cannot blame them it is our nature to provide to women and it is their nature to nurture and it is in their nature to seek security from us men so whether your woman has a lot of money and she is taking care of the family like you are too don't be deceived that's not enough my men be in a position where with or without your wife's money you can take care of her and you can take care of your children and you can take care of your future with or without her money she may be making more money than you and she may be a very good woman who contributes but my friends don't lie to yourselves as a man you are supposed to be able to provide with or without the help of your wife and my friends i I'm Mr. Sam, the creative, with Banana Land Media and Good People Society. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and I am out of here, my friends. Thank you.
naenda viral. Hii naenda viral na nimeandika na